x raised to the power square root of x is equal to square root of x raised to the power x and we will find the value of x. So first of all we will remove this radical sign by applying square on both sides. So this square and square will be cancelled out and it will become x to the power square root of x and its power 2 is equal to x to the power x. As we know that a to the power m whole power m is equal to a to the power m n. So it will become x to the power 2 times square root of x is equal to x to the power x. Now we will apply natural log on both sides so it will become ln of x to the power 2 square root of x and it will become ln of x to the power x. And we know that ln of a to the power n is equal to n times ln of a. So it will become 2 times square root of x ln of x is equal to similarly it will become x times ln of x. Now we will take this to the uh, right hand side left hand side. Now we will take this x ln of x to the left hand side so it will become 2 times square root of x ln of x minus x times ln of x is equal to 0. From these two terms we have ln of x is common so it will become 2 times square root of x minus x is equal to 0. Here we have two cases ln of x is equal to 0 and 2 times square root of x minus x is equal to 0. So log functions are the inverse of exponential that means the value of x will be equal to e to the power 0 and e to the power 0 is equal to 1 so the value of x is equal to 1 in this case. Now we can write it as 2 times square root of x is equal to x. Now we will apply square on both sides. So it will become 4 times x and it is x square so we will take this x square to the uh, left hand side so it will be minus x square is equal to 0. Now from these two terms we have x is common. And it will be 4 minus x is equal to 0. So here again we have two cases that x is equal to 0 and 4 minus x is equal to 0. We will take this x to the right hand side. So it will be 4 is equal to x or we can write it as x is equal to 4. So the three values of x are 0, 1 and 4. Thanks for watching.